Through a lifetime spent in the pursuit of knowledge, one question consumed me. How did our world come to be? The old ones perished a thousand years ago, triggering the extinction of all life. She showed me how it was reborn. A little outcast girl, ignorant of her own importance. Through her, I learned that life was only saved through a technological miracle. Zero Dawn. A terraforming system composed of nine subordinate functions. Each playing its part to reshape Earth from a barren rock to a lush landscape. Tended and protected by the machines. And with her, I learned the deepest secret of them all. The secret of her birth. That she is a clone of Elizabeth Subek, Zero Dawn's creator. Born to prevent a new extinction. Driven by Hades, a malevolent AI. Given sentience by a mysterious signal of unknown origin. And with a little help from me. She prevailed in a great battle at the city of Meridian. Becoming a champion for all humankind. But as useful as she has been, now... I must leave her behind. For as she strives to put right what Hades sundered, I have made a new discovery. One that heralds both destruction and opportunity. Welcome, Wolf of Wolfettes. We are back with the brilliant Horizon Forbidden West on the PlayStation 5 and I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now I am very happy that Guerrilla Games included that brief story recap before you start the game because many of us have not played Horizon Zero Dawn in about five years so many of us have forgotten the story at this point so having that brief story recap was a very nice addition but one thing I will strongly recommend if you haven't played Horizon Zero Dawn I recommend you play that first before you play Horizon Forbidden West because Horizon Forbidden West is a direct sequel to Zero Dawn so there's going to be many returning characters many returning story elements so on and so forth so that for that reason I strongly recommend you play Horizon Zero Dawn before you play Forbidden West but if you want to play it you can get a PS4 copy play it on the PS5 I think there is a 60 FPS patch I think you can also get it on PC so yeah make sure you play it before you play Forbidden West. Just a little tip from Beowulf the Wolf. But before we get into this video, there is something I want to show you all quickly. Now, if you come onto accessibility and you come down to this section right here where it says Copilot, turn this feature on to use a second controller with mirrored controls. Now, I'm not sure if I'm reading this correctly, but is this suggesting that you can have two people controlling Aloy together? Because if that is the case, not only is that amazing for people that are struggling with things like sight problems, maybe if they've got issues with their hands and they need a second player to help them control Aloy, but this could also be very, very good for parents that have got children. Because if you're like a dad or a mum and you're blasting through Horizon Forbidden West and you've got like a little five-year-old sitting next to you and she's like, Mummy, Daddy, I want to play, then you could let your little kid play the game, do all of the shooting with the bows, and you could control Aloy with your controller, do all of the moving and do all of the dodging. If that's what I'm reading and that is what this uh, option does, that is amazing. Every single game in the world needs to have this option. Man, I would love that. Can you imagine if I had kids? I'd be able to sit here with my son or my daughter playing on very hard mode and let them do all the shooting whilst I do all of the dodging. Oh, that would be amazing. Oh man, I'd like something like that. That'd be very, very good, man. I wish I had kids. Oh, wow. I'm not going to start depressing myself, but uh, one thing I do want to do quickly, I just want to make sure that the subtitles are turned on. Uh, was it on normally? 
on audio. Yep, yep, okay, lovely. The visuals, we're gonna favor performance. We're gonna have 60 FPS because it makes for a nicer video for you guys and girls. And it's not too much different from uh, favoring the uh, visuals anyway. Uh, audio, I'm just gonna quickly turn down the music and the sound effects a little bit. Hopefully this isn't too low, but uh, we'll leave speech on 100. All right, we should be ready now. I'm gonna make this video a little bit longer just because of all the chatting, but I wanted to mention that accessibility option because that looks very, very cool. And I think every game in the world should have that option, but let's jump straight in. New game. Okay, uh, we're gonna play through this game on hard. I'm playing through the game on very hard off camera. And even though it's very fun to play on very hard, you have to be very cautious and very slow and it will make this playthrough a hell of a lot longer than it needs to be. So for that reason, we're just going to go with hard for this playthrough because it's still a challenging experience anyway. Hard. Hard difficulty allows for a challenging combat experience throughout the journey. Lovely. Um, I think this one is to do with the HUD. I think if you go on Guided, it has a lot of stuff on the screen. If you go on Explorer, it only shows you what you need to see at, that given, at any given time. So. I think we're going to put it on Explorer because there's less stuff cluttering up the screen. Lovely. Oh, I say it's Thunderjaw. Oh, I love Thunderjaws. Tall necks. There's a Lego tall neck coming out soon. Is that a Stormbird? Man, I love the machines. I love them. I'm running out of time, Elizabeth. The land is dying. People are suffering. Soon, I'll starve. All because of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. And only I can fix it. Only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. And then, extinction. I've been searching for months for what I need. A backup of Gaia, the AIU designed to control the system. But every time I think I have a lead, it comes to nothing. And every night, I have the same dream. I'm walking under a brilliant night sky, through a field of flowers. And when I arrive at the center, I see you, Elizabeth, waiting for me, even though you've been dead for a thousand years. You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother. And for a moment, I feel whole. But it never lasts. Yeah, you gotta hate dreams like that. I sure do. This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. 
I won't let it slip away. The valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. Varl? <laughs> if it isn't Aloy, the savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that stuff. Well, consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah. But that one was in your honor. Just saying. So, what are we doing? Must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving into ancient ruins? Or maybe it has something to do with the Blight. Both, actually, but, um... I should... Oh, no. I've been tracking you a long way. It's okay. After everything you've done to help the Nora and my family, I swore an oath to help you, no matter what. But you're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. <laughs> You grew that beard very quickly, that's for sure. Okay, but if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. <sighs> A focus? Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data. Data? Information on the device. We've got a lot to cover. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. Oh man, it's gonna be like trying to teach your nana to use the internet, ain't it? <laughs> That's what it's gonna be like. Oh man, poor Val was gonna annoy the hell out of us, innit? Oh. Is she like this all the time? Since I was a little girl. Come on. Oh, I'd hate to see like that every day. That'd drive me insane. Shall we? Man, the way Aloy's hair moves in this game is ridiculously good. Now look at it! Alright, I got a couple of scrapes on the way here. We should find some medicinal plants, stock up. So it's time for your first lesson with the focus. Sounds good. Let's get started. Yeah, a word of warning, there's going to be a ton of talking. The first two videos, I don't think I'm going to have much of a chance to say anything because these two are going to talk to each other non-stop, so yeah, bear with me. <laughs> Alright, so uh, pretty much now that Varl has got his own focus, they're going to use this as a way to familiarise us with the controls, but without it seeming weird, because obviously Aloy is a seasoned veteran at this point, so they use Varl as a way to teach us the controls and stuff like that, which I think is very clever, because if he wasn't here then they'd have to do it with her, and it would seem very weird her learning the ropes again, which is already a master now, so I like how they've done it to be honest, it's actually pretty clever, and the fact that they've given him a, um, a focus as well, it's very nice. Bitter? Yeah, well, at least they make you feel better. All right, we should keep going. Well, before we keep going, I'm going to grab up all these berries. Yeah, good idea. Now, I was going to do it anyway. I was going to do it before you said it, Varl, right? I've been playing video games for many years. I know what to do, mate. Look at these bushes. Oh, look at that. Look at the look at the flipping visuals on them berries. Could you imagine the quality of the Ribena you could make out of these bad boys? Jesus. I've never zoomed in on them. They look delicious. They look pretty weird far away, but you zoom in, they look beautiful. So if you press R3, your focus can do this little like um, little search in the area, your little eagle vision to show you where stuff is, or you can hold it down and you can have a good proper look and you can scan things like uh, machines to find out their weaknesses and all that good stuff. The game's going to tell you about it all in a minute anyway. 
I'm just uh, jumping the gun a little bit, saying it before the game does to make me seem like a genius. <laughs> Uh, don't touch the blight though, because it will do damage to you. <coughs> the blight's infecting all the plants. It's changing them. If it keeps spreading, nothing will grow. That's why we have to fix it. Beautiful. Those ruins. That's where we need to go. So what we're doing at the moment is we are trying to find a backup version of Gaia, which was the AI that controlled Zero Dawn, if I remember correctly. And the Zero Dawn was the thing that rebuilt the planet after the end of the world with the machines and regrowing everything and all that good stuff. This is why you need to play Horizon Zero Dawn, because it's going to be all about that stuff. You'll learn more about it. I have forgotten basically everything about Horizon Zero Dawn except the machines. I'm not sure why, but... Uh, that's why I recommend you play Horizon Zero Dawn before you play this game. Sorry, there was something I needed to do. You were talking before I left? You really traveled a long way to get here. I almost... What are we after exactly? The backup? Well, um... It's an AI. It's, um... It's hard to explain. Think of it like... A set of instructions that can fix the world. Sounds complicated. Noticed you're uh, traveling light these days. Yeah, I am. Um, ran into some trouble on the way here. Lost a lot of my gear. Uh, that's very convenient, ain't it? Yeah, they wanted to make an excuse for us losing all of our cool weapons that we had in Horizon Zero Dawn. Like the, uh, the, the trip caster, I think it was called, where you can trip things over. Like bombs and traps. I wonder where all of our stuff was gone. What we got? We've only got our bow. Yeah, is that? Yeah, that, that's some dead bullshit. End, <laughs> is it a dead end? I thought we were supposed to go this way. It's not a dead end. Oh, maybe it is. Oh, don't touch the blight. I want to grab more of these plants along the way. Yeah, good idea. You can grab some for me, mate. <coughs> oh, look. Grimlocks. Salvaging machine carcasses as usual. And there they go. Looks like they left a carcass behind. Delicious. That's one thing you always need to make sure you do in this game. If you never played the uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, you've got to make sure you loot as many machines as possible because uh, the, you use shards as a currency, if I remember correctly, and you get shards from the machines, but also the stuff that you need to craft all of your ammunition, you also get those from the machines as well, especially some of the more rarer types of ammo. So make sure you do keep your eyes open for dead bodies or make sure every time you kill a machine, you do loot it because you're going to need all of the materials you can get, especially on the higher difficulties where things take longer to kill. You need even more ammo than usual. But arrows in that machine. Better take a closer look. But you do have your trusty spear, and I will say the melee combat in this game is much, much better than Horizon Zero Dawn. It's a lot more nice to use your melee weapon, a lot more uh, additions to it, and new like skills and stuff, and new tactics you can explore. It's very nice, very nice to use the spear in this game. It was all right in Zero Dawn, but it's much better now. Someone took down this machine recently. Who else would come here? I don't know. We better craft some arrows of our own. There might be trouble up ahead. There's some Ridgewood by the stream. Oh, don't worry, I'm well ahead of you, Val. I remember how to craft arrows. That's about all I remember from Horizon yeah, Zero Dawn. Have we got any uh, shards yet? I guess we do. I'm going to grab up everything in this area. I just want to have as much stuff as possible. Oh, look, some more delicious black currants. Very nice. Anything else? No. I just want to know how, because how, how far ahead in time is this game from Horizon Zero Dawn? 
It only seems like it's literally a couple of days or a week or two. And fucking Varl, I swear he didn't have a beard at all in the first game. <laughs> and now he's got a full on flipping fabulous beard. How did he grow one so quickly? Me too. Arrows ready. I didn't see you craft any arrows. That did it. After you. Well, of course, ladies first, mate. Gotta be a gentleman. Oh man, this game is fucking stunning, ain't it? Did it give you a boner? Like, if you can play this game for longer than an hour without getting an erection, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> there's something wrong with you. What was this place? I don't know. The transmission, the uh, message I found, didn't say. Only that a backup might be here. We need to find a way in. I just... So, um, what happened after I left Meridian? Well, there was a fuss when people realized you were gone. But then some of us figured you only would have left if it were for something important. You were right about that. What are these gold form peppers for? Seasoning our food? You can, can you cook in this game? Can you can you make like meals like you do in like uh, Red Dead Redemption? I can't even remember. I, I just love how dense everything is. Look how much greenery and flowers there are. I think I said this same comment on Twitter to one of my buddies, Damien. Absolute legend he is. Absolute legend. Man. There you go, the uh, little little hints of uh, the past hidden around the game. I love that. Not getting through that way. I know, I'm supposed to be looking for a, a ladder, aren't I? Or we have to start climbing up, I think. Alright, I think I've got to go up and lower the ladder for him. Aloy, over here. Maybe we can get into the ruin this way. What the bloody hell do you know? What, did I take too long or something? <laughs> I was looting things. Down this way. Oh, I was just busy looting things. Don't rush me. Get to the grass. Never seen one of those before. Me neither. I thought it was a what? That's not a watcher. What's that? Those dead machines have it on alert. How do you want to handle it? The focus can help us. We can scan the machine before we make our move. Okay. Give it a second. Okay. See how parts of it are glowing? Those are its weak spots. Got it. It's called a borrower. Well, that doesn't sound promising. We're most likely going to go underground then. Okay, so what's its, what's its weakness? It's eye. It's a weak spot. Eye. Right. The weak spot. The eye is the weak spot. And it's weak versus fire by the looks of it. Alright, lovely. Uh, can I put a pathway down? No, it's not letting me do that yet. I'm ready. Should we sneak up on it or should we shoot it? Should we just sneak up on it? We could one-shot this guy, can't we? I can't remember how good the stealth was in this game. Like, what's Aloy's stealth like? Can she one-shot things? I think she can, can't she? Come on. Oh, right, yeah, look at that. Right in thin air and we killed it. <laughs> Find anything good? Metal shards. Another one's coming. Okay. Let's take it down with a five. Oh, what's that? You just take a dump at me. Oh, look at that. How does the focus know all that? It reads data on the machine. Like a hunter studying its prey? Yeah, kind of. Might as well grab up all this stuff whilst I'm here. 
So, after the fuss over me leaving, what did everyone else do? Well, as soon as the celebration was over, my mother led the rest of the Nora home. The Sun King put his people to work rebuilding the city. And I set out to find you. Oh, right. Someone shot this machine too. I, I don't really care, Varl. We're busy, mate. We're busy. We've got more important things to worry about at the moment. Got it. I should have probably put it on guided mode so I don't end up walking the wrong way. I know, I know where to go, but like later on in the game, I might end up getting lost. Especially when we get into the more like open world stuff. I'm more than likely going to get lost. You were a child, right? Yeah. I found my first one when I fell into a ruin. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. That's good to have extras. Like having a bunch of spare mobile phones. Welcome to the Far Zenith launch facility. Far Zenith? I, I know they made some tech trades with Zero Dawn, but. Why would they have a backup of Gaia? I don't know. register with reception for the tour. I guess they want us to check in with them. <laughs> I don't remember that name at all. Please hold for identity scan. Access denied. Please wait here for personnel to assist you. Dr. Sobek. Okay. I guess they weren't on great terms with Elizabeth. Well, Let's find a way in. Yeah, Elizabeth, Elizabeth Sobek is the creator Please of Zero Dawn, and I am a clone of her in the tonight. future. And I'm the one that can interact with all of this machinery because it sees my DNA. It sees me as her pretty much because I'm a recreation of her, I'm a clone. That's why I can do so many things that no one else can and why I'm the key to saving the world. There's climbing gear. Guess someone dropped in from above. I keep trying to turn my torch on like I'm playing Dying Light 2. <laughs> Whoever left this here might have also shot those machines we found earlier. So where are they now? Ugh. What's that stench? Your mum. <laughs> I'm sorry, Val. I'm sorry, Val. I don't even know your mum. I didn't mean it, mate. I didn't mean it. I just couldn't resist. <laughs> oh, man. The entire camp. Why doubt? They must have come here to Delph for scrap. That's it. That explains the smell. And it looks like something big came in from above. Crashed right through the camp. And through the wall. I should take a look at the rubble in that gap. That doesn't look like acid. That looks like some sort of poison, some sort of toxic stuff. Look how it's, look how it's bubbling. <laughs> There's a soul storm brew. Whatever came through here brought this down as it went out. If I can dislodge some of the debris... We might be able to squeeze through. Maybe I can find something to help in the camp. Aloy, over here. I think I got something. It's some kind of Osram prototype, I think. This hook looks like it can latch onto things. And this gear pulls it back. Hmm. It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. Yeah, the focus does everything. My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. Yeah, because uh, I, I uh, if you saw it, I recently unboxed the collector's edition. Acid burned right through his armor. But um, 
I think there was another one called the Regala edition or something like that. And I think that one had a focus that come with it. I didn't order that one. For one, I wasn't quick enough. And two, I wasn't willing to pay over £200 for an Eclectus edition. No way. Yeah. Certain games, I might be slightly yeah. tempted, but not for Horizon, unfortunately. It's a great game, but not enough for 200 quid. <laughs> but I got the Collector's edition anyway. I think I paid 150 which is a lot of money, but... I've got, I, the reason I spend this money is mostly because I want to unbox it on YouTube. That's the main reason I do it. Just unfortunately, I don't get my money back. Only with the Crash Bandicoot unboxing I did a few years ago. I definitely got my money back with that one. A million views, but the rest of my unboxings, I definitely don't get my money back. So it's always a gamble, but you've got to take gambles on YouTube. Anything that can get you some views and some publicity. You've got to take some gambles sometimes, even if it costs you a lot of money. <laughs> but I like unboxing stuff for you guys and girls. Then you can see if you like it and you can buy it yourself. Have I got all the stuff yet? Am I? Oh no. Well, we're building a rope caster, innit? So we could pull out the debris. Once we've built this, I'm probably going to have to end the video. I think we've been recording for 30 minutes. Stronger than rope. 33 minutes. Right. I think I have what I need to repair the tool. Or maybe even make something better. You could use this workbench. I know. All right. Oh, a pull caster. Close enough. So it looks like there's three other things we can make as well. Sweet. Might be able to upgrade them as well. One thing I will say about this game before I craft this, one thing that does irritate me in this game is the climbing. The climbing controls in this game are a piece of shit. I tell you, I love everything about this game, but the climbing is an, an absolute nuisance. The controls that they've chosen, the way you climb, is ridiculous. But if you've played this game, you'll know what I'm talking about. Bloody nightmare. Hopefully there's no like scenes where you have to quickly climb, like no sections in the game, otherwise I'm going to die over and over. <laughs> it's a nightmare remembering the controls. There. Uh, pull caster. Now to test it on the debris. Do we really want to go that way where all of the flipping acid is? That worked better than I thought. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna have to end the video now, Wolf Wolf it. So I wish I could make like an hour long video because uh, we haven't really gotten much done in this video, but unfortunately I can only keep it around 35 ish minutes. If I record longer than that, then I have all sorts of problems that happens with my videos, as some of you guys and girls already know with a few of my playthroughs. So, yeah. Thanks for watching Wolf of Fits. Hopefully you've enjoyed this first episode of Horizon Forbidden West. Next time, uh, if I'm quick enough, I think it should be a lot more action-packed and we're going to meet a very new machine that is oh, he's a, he's a big boy. Responsible for what we're standing here uh, as a little teaser. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share and join the pack tonight.